So I'm just about to receive a phone call. It is exactly six o'clock on a Thursday night and I've been booked on a crazy gig for you guys. Just waiting for a phone call from a guy named Josh Peters and he's apparently quite a big, big YouTuber and a big influencer. So if you know Josh, I'll give him a shout out on my, my new channel, but it's gonna be crazy, guys. Speak of the devil. Hey, hello? Hey, Ty, how's it going, buddy? You right, man? Not bad, thank you. Good, good, good. Are you uh, ready for a weekend of being a cheering? Oh, mate, I'm absolutely hyped. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're, uh, you've sort of heard about the fight before, have you? The Logan Paul KSI fight? Yeah, yeah, I have, yeah. Amazing. So, what, we, what we're going to try and do is I've got us two ringside tickets, so we're going to sneak in, get you in there on the scene, and hopefully the cameras that are filming the fight will start filming you because they'll think that Ed Sheeran is in the building and we can create a big stir. Oh, man. And, yeah, we'll get, we'll get a whole bunch of uh, people thinking you're Ed Sheeran. You're flying from Manchester, I'm flying from London. We arrive at roughly the same time, so when I arrive in um, LA, I will give you a call, hopefully, you'll hopefully be there at the same time and we'll get a car together into LA, go to the house we're staying at and then make our way to the to the fight. Yeah man, that sounds good. Okay, great. Well, Ty, I look forward to seeing you um, and I, I'll see you in LA. All right, so it is now quarter to three in the morning. I've got 45 minutes to get to the airport. I've not slept. I've done an all-nighter. I'm shattered and I'll update you guys when I'm at the airport and I get a bit of a chance. I've literally packed all my stuff. No baggage. This is literally all I'm taking. That tripod, that bag and this camera. Anyway, I'll get to you guys at the airport. Alright yeah, guys, so... We're on our way to LA and it's gonna be absolute madness. I can't believe it, like I found out about this yesterday. So I'm literally flying out to Paris and then going straight to LA from there. I've had no sleep, running off fumes. But anyway, I'll get some more footage as the day goes on. Or should I say the night? It's 4 a.m. at the minute. All right guys, I'm just getting in focus. Right, so I'm going to the KSI Logan Paul boxing match. That is the big gig. I cannot f***ing wait, guys. It's going to be absolute madness. But anyway, I think I'm going to get a drink so I can get an early one. And then I'll shoot back on here and keep you updated. So I'm on the runway now. I'm about to board the first plane to Paris. Oh god, so after loads of travelling, loads of rushing, trying to sort something out at the front desk because Manchester Airport said I couldn't uh, get another ticket to come back. So I was pranging in that whole journey like everything falls on this. Basically, nothing to worry about, it's something to do when I get back. They just didn't explain it fully. Anyway, it's on to the next stop, I'm running late. This is the Los Angeles flight where we're going to watch the fight. Right, so we've just arrived in LA airport, I can tell it's hot. You know when you walk down that tunnel thing and you know it's just like a sauna in there? It was like that. A jumper was a bad choice. And speaking of jumpers, I've got coffee all over it. I spilled coffee all over my camera on the plane. I've got a funny story, I'll probably explain it later, but I've got coffee all over my camera, all over the microphone, all over myself. It was an absolute mess. But anyway, it's off to meet Josh. Uh, so we should get to this ESTA thing and then meet Josh. So this is Martin's view. This is absolutely incredible. Martin is the guy that co-founded Cameo, which you can send videos and is just getting me onto it now. You can send videos like birthday messages and things like that. Probably can't even see me there. This guy is absolutely loving it and the app is absolutely sick. I'll give it a, a shot and I'll let you guys know how it goes on so you can get a free little cameo from me. The life of time. Alright guys, so 
it's right before the big finale. Everyone's getting ready. I'm in my uh, shearing gear, as you can see. And this place is just incredible. I'll give you a quick MTV cribs. Let's see, let's see focus. Look at that. My brightness is a bit too high. I can't turn it down on a stupid setting, but it is still absolutely incredible. Wowzers. Massive, massive, massive front door there. And the view outside. Look at that. The water fountain as well, in the pool. Incredible. Madness. Yeah, so it shouldn't be too long anyway before we actually do the prank. Uh, well, the publicity stunt, should I say. It's going to be mad, guys. So we're going to try and sneak in. I'm wearing this hat, you know, like keeping a low profile on that. And then boom, Ed sneaking in. Right, so after losing my car, it's time to try and find it jet lagged. I'm back in Manchester and I'll keep you guys updated when I finally find out where I've parked. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Jeez, that was a mad trip. Oh my god, I look like rubbish. I think I've aged about five years in the space of two days. So yeah, I did it. I went all the way to LA. Unfortunately, I didn't get too much footage because it was just do the gig and get out of there and I couldn't have the camera with me either because with it being such a, a high profile event I couldn't have my camera in there but yeah that was a fun experience here's a few snaps <laughs> It's like the hangover, I couldn't believe it. So like, I actually managed to see KSI afterwards, which was so fun. Um, and I've met so many celebrities as well. I am so, so tired. I just can't wait to get home and go bed, get a rest, edit this small vlog. It wasn't a big vlog considering I went a good 4,000 miles or something stupid. Oh. All right, do you know what? I am way too white. Give me a second. There we go. It's toned down a slight bit. Anyway, so I thought I'd do an after video. Let's take that off. Let's give it the proper edge sheariness that it needs. Right, so basically I went on tour with Josh Peters. Well, on tour, we sort of like collaborated in a sense to create this absolutely incredible video. Like we fooled a whole arena about the KSI and Logan Paul fight. And it went absolutely crazy. Like, if there's anything else I could say to add more emphasis on that night, I would say it right now. But literally, it was mental. So, for starters, like, I had the likes of Keemstar, Rice Gum, everyone just coming up to me, like, as if I was Ed Sheeran. And me be me, deep down, I was like, I've watched these guys on the TV, like, they'd never get that hyped over some guy that does. A video in his bedroom with some knockoff green screen, fairy lights, and teddies on his bed. You know what I mean? Like, so for them to be like that, it was incredible, and it sort of added to it. So it made me a bit more confident in the scene, um, and I, they, they believed it so much. So I'm just going to tell you the story now. So we went to a guy called Martin's house. He is the one of the producers of an app called what's the name of that app? Mine's gone blank. Give me a second. Cameo. That's it. So he's a producer of an app called Cameo, which he's actually hooked me up to get onto. Maybe that could get me out of the bingo wall. We never know. But um, yeah, so Cameo is basically an app where... This isn't promoted, by the way, but I should give the guy a promotion. His house is beautiful and he let me stay there. And it was amazing. 
So yeah, Cameo is an app where you can get a celebrity to do like a quick voice message uh, or even lookalikes. So we had a Tom Cruise lookalike uh, and he was earning like 2k a month and getting like loads of requests. And it's a good little idea, like if I would have come up with it, I'd be all over it. Honestly, smashing idea, amazing app. So basically celebrities just give people shout outs for the birthdays and weddings and any sort of event or any sort of situation really. Anyway, I'm going a bit off subject. So we stayed at this guy's Martin's house, Guy Martin. Not the uh, motorbike guy, this guy called Martin. And it was just like an absolute paradise place. Like you've seen it in the vlog. Uh, this is like the after video, so I'm just waffling about it. So you've probably seen all that anyway. And then we went down to the arena and I was quite nervous because I've been to one of Ed's arenas in Manchester, or one of Ed's gigs outside an arena in Manchester. And it was absolutely mental there. And it was the same there. We just had to keep running and running and running from the crowds. It was crazy. Uh, got another hair. Like, the amount of hairs like that in videos that just do my head in. Anyway, yeah. So it was absolutely crazy. So he shows up there. We're there fooling Rice Gum and Keemstar and everyone else. Will and he, he's a legend, by the way. And all these people as well are proper, genuine people in person. Even when they knew the premise of the video that like, I wasn't actually there cheering, there were still proper sound people and a good laugh. One of the best nights out I've been on. And then partying with KSI at the end of it was absolutely wild. Uh, there's an image. That's definitely going to be a thumbnail right there. And then probably half the sun. I don't know what I'm going to do with a thumbnail. But anyway, it was an absolutely incredible experience. And I want to thank everyone that got me involved. Like Josh Peters, Casper, and just the whole team that were down there as well that night as well. Like, they really made the experience full on. Uh, and I've got some funny stories. And I'm an honest guy, so I'm going to tell you. So uh, when, I, when I got to the mansion, right, this Martin's mansion, uh, like he showed me my room and all that. And with it being America, they had like an ensuite bathroom. And this backed onto the kitchen, so that the door was wide open. I, it didn't have a door in my head anyway. So um, the first time I was having a shower and like I could clearly see someone in the kitchen and it was a bit strange and it was like, I'm staying here, you know, I'm having a shower, like, you know. Anyway, uh, I got in after partying with KSI, not bragging there. And <laughs> and literally I need, I have irritable bowel, so like I needed to go for a dump. So I was literally like running to the toilet. I was squeezing one out, like proper, like I had a strain on. I was like, like <laughs> Anyway, this Martin gets up at the perfect time when I was having a dump and squeezing one out. And he's there in the kitchen and I'm like, sorry man, I didn't realise there was a door. And he's there watching me, like, straining to have a dump. And he comes over and he goes, here you go mate. And the door was inside the wall and I didn't even know that. He shuts the door for me. It was so awkward but funny and... I thought I'd include it in the video. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I'm sorry it was last minute. I had no time to plan, no time to chill and talk to the camera as much. But I tried to capture as much of the experience as I possibly could. And I hope you guys enjoyed. This is The Life of Ty. So, no, no.